reflect on the life of Saint Peter Fourier, born on the 30th of November 1565 at Lorraine in France. Peter Fourier was educated at the Jesuit University at Pont a Mousson. He became a canon regular of Saint Augustine in 1585, was ordained priest in 1589 and obtained his doctorate in patristic theology in 1595, graduating brilliantly. For the field of his priestly labors, he chose the little town of Matincourt as it was the poorest, most corrupt and threatened by Calvinism. Within a few years, he saintly example of personal mortification and austerity, loving instruction and fervent prayer had brought about its complete spiritual reform. He organized the guild of Saint Sebastian for men, the Rosary Society for women and the Immaculate Conception Society for young girls. For the spiritual instruction of the children, he composed a series of dialogues on the Christian virtues to be publicly recited by the children on Sundays. The poor of the parish being ever his special and affectionate concern, Peter founded a mutual help bank and a voluntary court of arbitration for the friendly and just settlement of all disputes. In 1597, with the cooperation of Blessed Alex Leclerc, he laid the foundation for a religious society of women, specifically devoted to the education of poor girls, firmly convinced that an uneducated girl was more of a threat to society than an uneducated boy. This community received papal recognition in the year 1616 as canoness regular of St. Augustine of the Congregation of Notre Dame. Their numbers grew so rapidly that at the outbreak of the French Revolution there were already 4,000 sisters. The congregation was introduced into the New World at Montreal by Blessed Marguerite Bogueus. In the year 1621, at the request of the Bishop of Toul, Peter undertook the reform of the Augustinian Canons Regular, which eventually resulted in the re-establishment of the Canons Regular of Lorraine as the Congregation of Our Saviour in 1629. He was elected Superior General in the year 1632. St. Peter Fourier showed remarkable zeal and success in converting Calvinists. He died on the 9th of December 1640 and was beatified in 1730 and canonized by Pope Leo XIII in the year 1897.